YouTube, what's going on? <clears throat> Man, I'm over here driving 10, 15, 20 minutes away to find a bad spot. Man, I I live right down the street from an incredible bad spot. Look at this place. And I even made a mount for my little receiver, so I finally have hands free, so a lot better footage. But this is my Typhon 3S, guys, uh, with the Proline Trenchers. Yeah, finally going to get some good footage of this. Oh man. So this is my first time recording with the thing on my receiver. I, <clears throat> I asked somebody on YouTube, forgot who I asked. They sent me a link. Their clip was like 60 bucks. I'm like, oh man, you know what I mean? I'm a, I just don't got money for a $60 clip. So I went to, I think like Harbor Freight, you know, order, I got myself a little clamp. And then I ordered like a phone mount from Amazon for like five bucks. So yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, um, so far, I absolutely just love this thing. Haven't had any problems. I did order some extenders. I know I said I wasn't gonna run these uh, tires so I got my extenders, but I haven't had any problems. Um, I do notice that sometimes um, that little rocks, like say right now I'm on gravel, little rocks do tend to get stuck in between here and I can't turn, but uh, I'll have to just bring it back to me and then just shake it out. But I do know with the extenders that that's definitely going to solve my problem, but uh, but yeah guys, wow, let's see her rip, open field, wow. So I know a lot of people say that the Spectrum receivers suck, and uh, I haven't really had a problem. I mean, uh, I did I did buy the, I think it was called the Flysky GT5, because I wanted one with the gyro system in it. Um, so I did order that, I think it was like 80 bucks. So I can't wait for, for that. But other than that, I haven't had really any issues. I mean, oh, saved it. Um, I mean, I'm pretty far. You know, I mean, I'm, that's a good 30, 40 yards out. I don't have any issues. Stock, stock servo. Oh, easy. Almost got me. Yeah, these Proline tires are fucking badass. Oh, excuse my language. Um, they are really cool. Um, but man, you know what? I just, like I said, I'm fairly new into this hobby. Um, hey, by the way, guys, I'm really glad I'm able to have, like, I don't have to hold my hand. I have to hold my phone with my hand anymore, so I'm able to make a lot better content. Um, but you know what? These tires, guys, like I said, I definitely recommend them. Um, my next upgrade, I'm probably gonna upgrade the servo. I don't have any problems with the stock servo. I just know that I, you know, better response, you know, equals for more fun. But like I said, as of right now, guys, I don't have any any problems with the stock servo as is. Oh, woo! Easy. There is some big rocks over here. Oh, easy, easy. Um. You know, oh, I also, I did put that skid plate on, guys. I did put that, uh, that T-Bone Racing skid plate. Uh, it definitely plays a huge part on me being able to, to basically bash without any worries. Oh, 
windy out here guys, sorry about that. <laughs> oh man, this thing is so much fun. I'm so I'm so glad I found this little bash spot, guys. Literally by my house, 30 seconds. So see if we do a little speed run as soon as I stop drifting. Oh, oh, saved it. I mean, this thing just goes through anything and everything with ease, guys. Like, no problem. I did, uh, I did nerd out and I ordered a light kit, uh, just because I don't know. Like I said, I'm really excited about this hobby, so I did order a light kit off eBay. Comes with a little light uh, in the front and in the back, so that's gonna be cool. Um, why I don't know. Do I plan on driving at night? <laughs> Probably not so much, but uh. You know, it's cool to have, you know? Oh, almost got myself. Oh, oh, easy, easy. See the cops over there, guys. I'm just driving my RC, man. I swear I ain't causing no problems. <laughs> Um, so I am kind of bummed. We're not really so bummed. I mean, cause I'm still having fun with it. I did have to convert back to my stock pinion cause, cause the 22 pinion, I was just having a lot of problems. Not a lot of problems. I was just overheating a lot. And, um, and you know, I just wasn't down with overheating cause you know, I usually drive during the day. It's kind of, you know, I'm really lucky to be driving in the evening right now. Um, you know, cause of work and everything and just my schedule. I just you know usually drive during the day usually at my job um but i had to convert it back to stock you know i'm not really not really upset about it just kind of um beware guys if you do if you do uh try and upgrade to the 22 pinion in my my experience um it was running really really hot and i was just having a lot of a lot of esc overheating issues um personally like i said it, it, i've seen other people that have no problem with it but me um, just because, you know, where I run, it's like 80 degrees all the time. But other than that, guys, uh, you know what I mean? I, I put the Proline Trenchers in. This is awesome. I mean, look where I'm at, guys. You know, just this whole empty field. Um, you know, just the Typhon 3S. Um, I can't wait till my big bore aluminum shocks come. That's going to be my next upgrade. And then, um, I don't know if you guys have any suggestions. Um... I want to be able to upgrade, I guess, the like to aluminum knuckles or anything. I don't know if it's hard. I've seen a people, a few videos on it, um, but I don't know if you guys want to um, put any links in the description just to point me in the right direction, just for any links or anything, because I do want to be able to upgrade some of the parts. Um, other than that, uh, that's that's pretty much it. You know, just 
running this thing stock other than the tires I put on there. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, the battery that I got, I got a 5200 uh, milliamp battery. And uh, you know what? I've been running for about 10, 10, 15 minutes prior to making, no, 10 minutes prior to making this video. And I'm about, oh yeah, I'm about 10 minutes in. So about 20 minutes runtime, no problems. Um, so that's cool. Um, 20 minutes runtime is fine with me. I, you know, because some videos or some reviews I've done is, you know, you know, 8 to 12 minutes of runtime. And I was like, well, that's a bummer, you know? Who wants to only run for 8 to 12 minutes? So luckily the batteries I got, um, I'm about 20 minutes in runtime. And yeah, full full throttle, full power. Like I said, I'm not even really stepping on the gas uh, all the time, guys, because it just, I really can't. This is like just little full throttle pulls, quarter full throttle pulls. Oh, 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 it's rough over there. I almost got myself right there. Oh, here's something funny. What's going on in there? Give a little quick little shake. If you guys ever hear anything funny, just I just usually give a little shake. There we go. Oh man, I'm having so much fun guys. This is this is what I got this for, you know what I mean? Just having fun, bashing, find an empty field and just have fun. Man, I feel like a kid again. <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> oh man. So, just to let anyone know, whenever I have anything in my possession, just be assured that I put it through the absolute test. Um, <laughs> these uh, Proline tires, I've had them, I don't know, a few days now, and uh, just want to let you guys know, a few days in my possession is about, <laughs> is about two months of anyone else's, and you know what, um, I, you know what, they, they absolutely just they're awesome i don't have anything bad to say about them i mean look at the material that i'm on you, you know it's a bunch of dirt and gravel and you know what just having the absolute blast Don't go into the definitely don't go into the creek. I guess we'll just keep pools going away from the creek. Oh, 
Oh, ooh. Man, like I said, guys, this thing is just a monster. Flips, crashes, like I said. Uh, if it's in my possession, i definitely put it to the test. Um, yeah, wow. So it's getting a little dark, guys. I gotta get back home. I've been out here almost, I don't know, a solid 15 minutes. Um, oh, nice. Right on time. <clears throat> you know what? I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, also do a quick little, quick little update on uh, on this dust bag that I got. I would definitely recommend it to anyone, guys. Um, dust bag. Uh, my first time out, uh, I absolutely just shredded, shredded my uh, my drivetrain. Oh, I'm gonna have to put the phone down. Phone down, guys. Hold on. Sorry about that. One quick second. All right. So I basically just velcros on the side and then it zips up. Um, I mean, look at that, guys. I mean. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I mean, there's just nothing in there. No rocks, no nothing. I mean, I, it protects my fans, my ESC fan, my motor fan. By the way, guys, this motor fan, like I said, I was going to do a review, review on it. You guys see me bash on it. No problems whatsoever. Um, you know what? The dust bag, I would definitely recommend it, guys. I mean, this is just, you know, it's 30 bucks. And it just saves everything. I mean, look at where I'm at. I mean, nothing but dirt and gravel and just everything. So, I would definitely recommend the dust bag, guys. Um, and then the Proline Trenchers, I'd definitely give them a thumbs up, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Um, you guys have a good one. See you later.